we like to look taking the traditions and qualities of European beers and making them fresher and more vibrant for an American palate. Uh, that is the opportunity that we saw when we were studying in Germany. Beer has to be comfortable and exciting at a certain balance and um, I think that if we learn from European traditions and we modify them, it's the best of both worlds. It's comfort and excitement. The world's largest beer manufacturers care about craft beer. We made this happen, we being the brewers and the audience. Now that's like charging the hill, fighting the battle, winning the hill, only to get to the top and look down the other side and see the artillery lined up against you being really, really scary. I don't think any of us are intimidated, but the fact that the world's largest breweries have gotten into our community, literally infiltrated our community by purchasing what I like to call formerly legitimate craft breweries, um, that's a game changer. And I think any operator that thinks that the next 10 years are going to look exactly like the last 10 years is fooling themselves. But by working together, we can of course create a culture where more and more consumers are encouraged to move away from the larger industrial beers, the beers that don't have character, to discover happiness in these beers. Pennsylvania is a very unique place, I think, for beer. The one thing I've always marveled at is we have this lager heritage that is just so resilient. It survived prohibition with the Yingling Brewery. Uh, Carol Stout came on the scene and, you know, firmly planted the flag for lagers out in, you know, central Pennsylvania. We've got Straub, we've got all these, all these heritage brands. So I think that Pennsylvania presents a unique opportunity for brewers to reflect on heritage and tradition and what the public consumers like to drink and then gives them tremendous runway to go forward into any other uh, opportunity whether it be sours, barrel aged. So I think that that foundation of respect and attention for lager beers is a good one because it gives us a basis to experiment off of in all directions. We're actually all taking part in a cultural phenomenon. It's really not about the liquid and the way it tastes. It's really the opportunity to have conversations, to have dialogue, to talk about the possibilities of beer, the past of beer. So. For me, the most fascinating creation that we've been able to create here within Pennsylvania and all the markets we serve is we've been able to create a cultural change. Um, there is quality in this glass and that quality creates quality conversations and interactions. And that's the most important thing. And that's the thing that the world's largest breweries are gonna have the most difficult time recreating.